we're going to talk about what are the Paralympic Games. We're going to first go into the etymology of the word Paralympic. History and use of the term. The origins of the term Paralympic is unknown. No one quite knows when, how, or by whom the term Paralympic was used for the first time. It's, it's lost to the pages of history. No one knows what its original meaning was, for that matter, either. However, the Paralympic Committee has taken an educated guess, and they think that it was first coined as a pun by paraplegic athletes at Stoke Mandeville in the early 1950s by algamating the words paraplegic and Olympic. So the closeness of the Stoke Mandeville Games to the Olympic Games was promoted by Sir Ludwig Gutmann himself, who constantly strengthened analogies with the Olympic Games. For instance, Sir Ludwig was reported in a 1954 edition of The Chord to have given a speech at the end of the day of the second Stoke Mandeville Games held in 1949, in which he claimed that one day the Stoke Mandeville Games would be acknowledged as the paraplegic's equivalent of the Olympic Games. So, of course, you know, I mean, it didn't take long for the press to pick up on this because the Olympic Games, big thing, even back, you know, back in the, the 1950s. So the press picked it up and they ran with headlines like Olympic Games of Disabled Men is Born at Stoke or Now the Wheelchair Olympics, which appeared in a local English newspaper in 1952. Now, the earliest written references to the term Paralympic dates from 1953. Labels such as the Paralympics, Swimming, Latest Paralympic Game, or Stoke Mandeville Paralympics can be found in UK as well as foreign newspapers. The authors of these articles, however, uh, failed to indicate how the term was coined. A possible explanation comes from two articles published in the court in 1954. And one of these, physiotherapist Dora T. Bell refers to the Paralympics of Stoke Mandeville. And in another article, a nurse speaks of paraplegic Olympics. One possible explanation about how the term Paralympics was coined was that the term Paralympic was meant to be a combination of paraplegic and Olympics. Paralympics or Paralympic Games was not yet used as the official name for the Stoke Mandeville Games. Gutmann insisted that the games be called and advertised officially as the International Stoke Mandeville Games, which is a, a huge mouthful. The International Stoke Mandeville Games in Rome occurred in 1960 and they went down in history. Uh, those, that games went down in history as the first Paralympic Games. But it, the title was not officially introduced until 1988. There's, there's loads of references and official publications regarding the International Stoke Mandeville Games. From 1964 to 1988, references vary from a Paralympic Tokyo 1964 to ISMG, uh, International Stoke Mandeville Games for the Paralyzed, and so on. It would seem that up until like the late 80s the term paralympics was used as often as disabled olympics or Sto international stoke mandeville games olympic games for the disabled you know etc during this time they used different names for one of the same games which you can imagine added so much confusion as time went by the games grew and other disability groups, not just paraplegics, but other disability groups were included in the Paralympics so that the original intended interpretation of paraplegic Olympics could no longer be supported. Therefore, the term Paralympic shifted in meaning. Uh, nowadays, Paralympics represents a combination of the English prefix para, which is a morpheme derived from Greek, which means alongside, and the stem Olympic, so alongside the Olympics. Of course, this interpretation illustrates how the Olympic and Paralympic movements exist side by side. 
However, the term Paralympic is increasingly recognized as a unique term that refers to a concept of its own rather than as an amalgamation of two separate words. This process is called lexicalization. Why Paralympic and not Paraolympic? So depending on the interpretation of the etymology of the word Paralympic, you can interpret it either meaning alongside the Olympics or it can mean para as in paraplegic slash disabled Olympics. Depending on the interpretation, different explanations are possible as to why the official label is Paralympic and not Paraolympic in English uh, and most other languages. With regard to the alleged or origin of Paralympic dating from the 50s, the term represents a special case of morphological word formation process, which is uh, blending. So the blending of two different words to create one new word. Typically, as in the case of Paralympic, the beginning of the first word, which is, you know, paraplegic, is joined to the end of the second word, Olympic. Uh, although the variant Paraolympic was also used at times, at the very beginning, like I said, from, from like the 50s to the 80s, uh, the term Paralympic prevailed over the years. So today's meaning of Paralympic, which indicates that the Paralympic movement exists alongside or parallel to the Olympic movement, uh, refers to the morphological word formation process called prefixation. A prefix, para, is attached to the main word, Olympic. This does not explain the omission of the O, however, in Paralympic. So one plausible reason could be that in Paralympic, the two vowels A and O belong to two different syllables. So when that happens, it's a phenomenon called hiatus, which speakers in many languages tend to avoid for ease of pronunciation. We call them the Paralympics instead of the Paralympics, just because it's easier to pronounce. There's another reason why we might call it the Paralympics, and it's the more pragmatic reason is because if we used the term Paralympics as the official term, using that impinges upon the International Olympic Committee's rights connected to the name Olympic as a trademark. So they, they dropped the O from the official name of the Paralympic Games. It's thought that they might have dropped the O so as not to impinge upon the IOC's copyright. And that, my friends, that is a etymological look at the word Paralympic. So just to sum up, the etymology of Paralympics, para, can mean one of two things, either alongside or as a shortened form of paraplegic, and then we have the Olympics. Paralympics could mean either alongside the Olympics or paraplegic slash disabled Olympics. Nowadays, it's it's considered to basically mean both because it is, it does occur alongside the Olympics or right after the Olympics in, in most cases. And it is uh, the Olympics for disabled people. 